Hi and welcome to Tech Nation TV covering CES 2015 all over again. Yes, two million square feet, all sorts of places to stop by. But obviously, I had to stop by the Goal Zero booth because you will remember Miss Lisa from last year. She was here again this year, and I stopped and asked her. I wanted to know what's new for 2015, and so she brought out a few products for us and wanted to show us what's going on. It looks like here we've got maybe a nightstick or something, solar panel built in. I like that. We've got something that like a, I guess a battery that can get wet with a light on it and maybe a, a, a lipstick, char I, I, I don't know, but I, I'll let Lisa take over here and kind of show us what's going on. Yeah, super happy to have you back, Rusty. And yeah, you're totally right. I just wanted to show you some of the new stuff we have at Goal Zero for 2015. Let's go ahead and start with our brand new Torch 250. Last year, you and I talked a lot about the Lighthouse 250, super rad lantern that was just great to have in any sort of emergency. Right. This is the new one, the Torch 250. It's great. It has like a really great soft touch feel to it, and you can see all the different kind of angles of this thing. You're totally right. There's a solar panel built right onto the front of this thing to help keep it charged so that you really are never out of light. It also charges up from USB. That cable's built in so you don't lose it. So it'll charge up off of your wall adapter. It'll charge up off of one of our, one of our uh, solar panels. And then it also works with our batteries. And then on this side, you've got a hand crank. So in really bad cases, say it's totally cloudy outside, you have absolutely no USB backup, you can sit here and crank this guy to have light. It comes with a great spotlight that goes up to 75 lumen. You have a great floodlight here. So if you're working in the car or something like that with two settings, it also has a red emergency light in case you need to flag somebody down. And then of course, just like the lighthouse, we have a one and a half amp output in the back here to charge phones and cell phones. The battery in this guy is 4,400 milliamp hours of lithium ion. So it's gonna last a long time. You're gonna get about two charges on a cell phone if this is completely full. I would say this would be a great device to have in the car and especially at the way that it's angled. You could actually sit this like right in the front of your vehicle and let the sun just beat down on it and charge it up all day long. You wouldn't even have to worry about it. And if it is fully charged, you probably just throw it into your uh, glove box and be fine. Totally. Yeah. It's a $79 flashlight. It's super durable. I'm banging it here on the rocks. Nothing's breaking. It's just good to have in case anything goes wrong. Absolutely. What else we got here? So let's, uh, let's move on to something else brand new that we have this year. So this is our Flip 10 phone recharger. Super straightforward, sleek, super cool colors. It actually comes in a red, a green, a re this cool blue, and then another charcoal silvery color. Has this great little flip out tip, 2200, 2600 milliamp hours, excuse me, 2600 milliamp hours. So you're looking at about one full cell phone charge good at boosting like little Kindles for the kids, some gaming devices to keep them powered. It's really meant to power for whatever comes next. There's a handy little USB or uh, indicator light there for your battery. It has a one amp output, so it's really good for phones and stuff like that. The beauty of this product, and I'll tell you, I use it here at the show every day. At night, I have the hardest time finding the outlets in my room. <laughs> Hotel rooms are notorious for that, right? So I have, I have the AC wall plugs on the side of my bed, and those are where my laptops, because I have two of them, they're plugged in there. And then I have this little USB port on my lamp. So what I do is I plug my Flip 10 into the, into the USB port on the lamp, and then I plug my phone into this, and it charges everything at once. We call that pass-through power. It's something that's rare to find in portable power, so it really gives you advantage over the other guys out there on the market. Absolutely. Let me ask you this, though, because you're saying pass through power so I can both plug in and charge at the same time. Exactly. And like I said, super convenient. If you're traveling, you need to charge up your backup battery and your cell phone all at the same time. I also plug it into a laptop a lot and do similar things. This guy is going to be $29.99 when it comes out in March, February, March-ish. That's awesome. And I love the, actually the portability of it just because it's so tiny. And especially for women, it's really just throw it in your purse, your pocket, guys, whatever, throw it in your purse, jacket, pocket, whatever it is, and you're good to go. And it's very light, very simple, much like the match, what was the light eight last year? Stick, switch eight. Switch eight. A little bit smaller, but still charges everything. So that's awesome. All right, what else do we have up here? All right, now I want to show you probably one of my new favorite products coming out. Hanging out in the water here, we have the Venture 30. So this is a 7,800 milliamp hour battery. So you're looking at getting about three charges on a cell phone, a charge, a full charge on a Kindle or a Mac, one of the tiny iPad, iPad minis and stuff right. like that, the seven inchers. So this one actually has two high-speed USB ports. 
that can do up to 2.4 amps at the same time. And you can see it's hanging out in the water here and nothing's, we're, I'll plug into it later to show you how it works. This guy is actually rated to withstand up to an IP6 ingress protection rating. So that just basically says that you can take a shower with it, but you don't want to take a bath with it. Uh, good, good use cases for this. Um, you know, if you're rugged, if you're out in the outdoors, then you're going to be looking more like, I could drop this in the creek, I could drop it in the snow, and it's not going to affect it at all. In a more, like, domestic setting, I guess the best way to say this, if you have this out on the table and somebody spills a glass of water, milk, whatever's on the table, you won't have to worry about water getting in those ports. It's still going to work. So, like I said, all of it it's, has that high protection rating even without covering on any of those ports. also has a built-in flashlight right here. Which sounds funny, but I'll, I'll tell you this. I was in a taxi cab here in Vegas when I was coming to CES early one morning, and I needed to find my credit card to pay for the ride. So all I did was pull out the Venture, turn on light, and started digging through my purse so that I could find it. Uh, just like I mentioned on this, on the Flip 10 earlier, it also allows for pass-through power, so I can hook this thing up at night and charge everything at once, and I'm good to go. Handy, ba let's turn the light off. It has a handy little battery indicator right here so you can see how full the battery gets. Now, when I talked about the USB ports a little earlier, I said they can go up to 2.4 amps. So we're pretty tech savvy, right? I, you know, I'd hope so. Mo think of all the people that are ruining their cell phone batteries by charging them with like a two amp output if it only needs like 1.5. Right. Um, I compare it a lot of times to like a riverbed or a creek. So if the, if, the, uh, if the shoreline isn't ready for fast moving water, it's going to erode away the shoreline even quicker. Same thing with amperages and batteries if you're charging your devices. If your phone needs 1.5 amps, which most of the Apple phones like that, if you're trying to push too much power through it, you're going to destroy your battery a little bit quicker, which is why I, I'm victim of that. I totally did that. So with our Venture, even though it can go up to 2.4 amps, it doesn't need to do that, especially if it's going to erode away at some of the batteries out there. So let me just plug in my phone and show you the smarts that we built into this guy. So you can see that it's charging right now. The light that's flashing right here is actually in direct relation to how fast Venture's charging my phone. Likewise, if I plug this into a solar panel, that light will flash according to how fast Venture's charging, which is super awesome because it'll give you direct feedback. But let's get back to that amperage. So I'm going to press and hold this battery button, and we're going to see all of these lights flash at once. And Venture is going to start running through all of the USB charging profiles that are out there today. So iPhones want 1.5 amps, Samsung phones want 2.1, so on and so forth. Right now, Venture's talking to my phone and identifying exactly what amperage setting is going to be the best to charge it the fastest without overheating, without destroying my battery. So that feature plus the ruggedizing that went into this product really makes Venture one of the most rugged and one of the most compatible chargers on the market. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you guys aren't, aren't able to see this, but her phone is actually cutting off and on, and you can tell when it's charging, when it's not charging, because as she said, it's going through those profiles trying to figure out which will do the best for your phone. So it's like adaptive charging where it just kind of changes depending on what device that you're plugging in. Exactly. And then it's going to remember that setting and program it automatically to that port. And it will run the same thing for the second port over here so that I can really set, I want to charge a tablet from this one, a phone from this one. Say I plug something else in, I just run that sequence again. It takes maybe 30 seconds and that light is now flashing a lot faster than it was when I initially plugged in because Venture talked to my phone. When this becomes available I believe you said later this year yeah. what's the what's the price point that we're looking at? We're gonna be a hundred dollars in the box without any sort of solar if you want to start recharging from solar it's gonna start at about 169 and go up from there. The other cool thing about this you guys saw it on, on camera this cable in here is actually a micro cable on one side but then on this side, this is actually the charging cable for the Venture itself. So I pop this side out, plug it into a USB port on a panel, plug it into a USB adapter I have for one of my other devices, charge it up that way, always good to go. And it's lightweight. Not to mention, it's like, since it's wrapped in all that rubber, the thing's like a hockey puck. Like, we could chuck it down the hall, it's going to be fine. It would be great if we could, we have Maybe a we test really dummy and chuck it. Exactly. We'll just throw it at somebody down there. <laughs> Goal Zero has... Is Seriously, a whole lot more products. You saw a lot of it last year. I believe we have to follow Goal Zero Solar on Instagram. Is that correct for following we updated every? updated it. Uh oh, we updated. Now it's just at Goal Zero. Okay, so it's just at Goal it's Zero. Easier. <laughs> so make sure you guys go check out the website. They have a ton of amazing products. If you want to go out on the weekend on your Jeep, go out on the weekend on your boat, whatever it is, anything that's outside and you need to charge, these are the guys to come to. They've got solar panels for everything. I mean, there's 
double panels, triple panels, large panels. There's still the Sherpas that we saw last year. Yep. Is there any updates in any of those Sherpas that, that you could tell us about, or are they still pretty much the same? They're still pretty much the same. They're still super awesome. Okay, so you guys go check them out, GoalZero.com, if I'm correct. Yep. yep. Make sure you follow them on all the social media. I've got more square footage to cover here at CES 2015. Uh, stay tuned all week. It's TextNation.tv. Thank you.